Today in the gallery, I'm joined by students from Maples Met School, and they have raised concerns regarding addiction and treatment centers, specifically regarding the meth and opioid crisis in our province. Madam Speaker, to quote a student from up in the gallery, the province of Manitoba is failing to provide the citizens of Manitoba with proper treatment centers to go to while they're struggling with addiction. How does the Premier plan on providing adequate treatment options for addicts while ensuring our frontline nurses are being protected while on the job? The Honourable Minister of Health Seniors and Active Living. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and welcome the students to the gallery. They're asking important questions, uh, and uh, we have uh, some updates for them. It's uh, incorrect to state that the government isn't action actioning because they should be aware uh, that there have been increased beds now at Health Sciences Centre, as well as 12 new addiction treatment beds in Winnipeg at AFM for women's treatments. In addition to this, we're making it easier for those who struggle with addictions to get in the door and get to specialists. And there there is more to come, and I look forward to uh, augmenting my answer in the next set. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a supplementary question. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The students of Maples Met feel that the world is experiencing an ecological crisis with the present rate of ecosystem and species loss, and Manitoba is no exception. Now, the students are aware that the Climate and Green Plan commits the province to installing a $100 million conservation trust to protect nature. What they want to know is when will the trust be in place and when will it be used to speed up consultation processes that seek to conserve and protect Manitoba's boreal forests? <laughs> The Honourable Minister for Sustainable Development. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I do want to thank these students for bringing arguably one of the best questions on, on the climate in this chamber. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I really yeah, appreciate their thoughtful question. We certainly have got um, a lot of work to do in terms of uh, creating a sustainable watershed in the, in the province of Manitoba. That is why our government introduced Bill 7, the Sustainable Watershed Act. And in conjunction with that $102 million historic conservation trust, we are going to get meaningful action in terms of preserving our wetlands and preserving our boreal uh, forests and our boreal wetlands for now and well into the future generations. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a final supplementary. Madam Speaker, students from Maples Met School have brought up concerns about budget cuts and how they might affect project-based schools like theirs. Currently, there are only three project-based schools in the province, and the students of Maples Met are nervous that when budget cuts happen, that their school will be affected. What does the Premier plan on doing to protect schools like Maples Met? The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I also want to welcome the students here to the gallery and to the Assembly. Uh, our government and our Premier have made education a priority, Madam Speaker. There is more than uh, $300 million more ever invested in the operation of schools, but it's not just the operation of schools. We know that good schools need to be built as well. That is why this government has committed to seven new schools around the province, Madam Speaker. We will continue to look at the needs of capital investment in schools. The government has recognized that education provides the future for our province. We are making it a priority. The Premier has made it a priority, and we thank the students for raising it here today. Yeah.